We just want you to stop bashing contrast. We want you to start mining it and managing it and adoring it in the way you did when you made the decision to come to participate within it. We want you to, to embrace your differences rather than condemn them. We want you to find the peace that will only come from standing in your perspective and adoring the existence of other perspectives even when they differ from yours and accept those differences as the stability from which we all benefit rather than scrambling around complaining about whose perspective is the most accurate when they are all accurate contrast by its nature is fantastic fantastic so you go to a buffet and they've got two things you can have that or that I think I'll go to another buffet where they have more <laughs> to choose from so call contrast choices call it variety rather than contrast it's variety because the only thing that makes contrast feel bad is your poor choice really good wasn't it <laughs> what makes contrast not feel good is choosing poorly and what does choosing poorly really mean I've chosen different from who I really am and what I really want in other words when you find fault with someone and you feel that negative emotion you've chosen poorly your inner being never chooses poorly and that's a wonderful thing because your inner being is always a vibrational match to the furthest most expanded part of you and when you choose less than that so contrast in and of itself conceptually is a really good thing call it variety but diverging from my furthest most expanded beingness doesn't feel good so don't call it contrast it doesn't feel good it's choosing a vibration that doesn't allow the fullness of who I am that doesn't feel good why go there and feel this way when that choice is available and then what comes is a determination a sort of mindset that well I know what to do first I'll choose it every morning do my best to do that every day that's simple enough I can do that and then I'll be aware of how I feel how I'm feeling and if I catch myself moving down a train of thought that doesn't feel so good then I'll draw it back from it and focus somewhere else and I'll just pay attention once you are solidly feeling good then when variety comes variety in the way that you meant it to be it's choices again every thought you have that's contrasting doesn't have to feel bad it can be clarifying in other words sometimes in your most aligned state something else comes into it because it is the same subject and even though there's resistance in that subject I can look at this through these new eyes I can see this through the eyes of source now and anytime you look at anything not through the eyes of source it always feels intolerable by comparison just Stay up there mostly and dip a little for clarification every now and again you've been through phase one folks you don't have to go back to phase one you don't have to justify or rationalize or defend and most of all you cannot explain it to anybody what's the distinction between complaining and making a request and we say big distinction isn't it complaining about something is far different than making a request of the universe but you got 17 seconds to decide if it's a request or a complaint and you can tell by the way it feels by where it goes next